Good morning, my friends. Welcome to the 10 Minute Book Talk. I am Marie Bostwick and I'm here with my friends, Rachel Linden. There she is. Look how cute she is. She got her haircut. <laughs> and Catherine, <laughs> Catherine Ray, who is also totally adorable and we love. Oh, and you know who else we're here with? We are here with Christina McMorris, whose brand new book, The Ways We Hide, just came out yesterday. We're so excited to have her here. I've read this book. I love it. It's amazing. Oh, one thing I did want to make sure I tell people, like, this is another author where you need to follow her Instagram because, like, Christina's life is crazy, but even just for the, the, the monthly redecorating of the Christmas tree that never came down, it's worth it just for that. She has some very unusual decorations. But enough of that. Christina, welcome to the 10-Minute Book Talk. Tell us a little about your book. Hi, good morning, everybody. Okay, so yes, quick summary of the story, The Ways We Hide, my latest novel, is about a female illusionist who is the mastermind behind an escape show in 1942. And because of her skill set, which she gained, by the way, becoming very good at escape because of a traumatic childhood that involves a tragedy that stunned me um, in Michigan's copper country. And because of her skill set to escape, she and with gadgets and inventions, she gets recruited by MI9, which is a British military intelligence group that's as classified and secretive as you can imagine. And she gets pulled much deeper into the war than she ever expects. So... There you oh go. My like, um, that right. is that's a great. If we were on an elevator, I wouldn't want to get off. I just want exactly. to hear more about this story. Well done. Thank you, Spielberg. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm guessing that an enormous amount of research went into a book this complex and a historical novel. Um, so how? Tell me a bit more about your research project pro, um, process, yeah. and maybe anything surprising that you learned. I'm sure you learned tons of surprising stuff. But oh my yeah, god, oh my stuff god. That stood out. Yeah, something that feels like, a, you know, a, an author's note with all the incredible things you think, how, how do, what, what do I put in a knot? Because there's so much amazing uh, facts that I found along the way. Aside from the uh, Michigan's Copper Country tragedy that was known as the Italian Hall disaster, and I'll allow people to go ahead and look that up. It's horrible, but it's also something that I thought, how have we never heard about this before? Um, so that was a major one for me. Uh, there's something called the Bethnal tube green, tube green disaster um, that um, happened in London, another one that I had no idea about. And other than that, some fun things would be about like the gadgets that I got to study from MI9. They were essentially the go-go gadget team of World War II. So some of the real historical figures inspired the character of Q from the James Bond film series. Wow. Uh, so I mean, it just makes sense that they recruited magicians and illusionists because it's all sort of the same thing, smuggling these, these amazing escape and evade tools that they put into things like monopoly boards and sent them in care packages to allied POW camps to help them escape. And all of this is based on true stories. Oh so, my gosh. Wow. And yeah, and by the way, I'll say research-wise, my process was just diving into everything I can imagine, you know, all of the documentaries, the videos, the books, and about 20 experts in all different fields from airmen to um, Dutch resistance, to, you know, Dutch history, um, Holocaust survivors, you know, survivors of some of the tragedies they talked about. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Wow. Um, oh, as much as I want to dive deeper into MI9, which absolutely sounds incredible. Um, I actually want to ask, because you kind of peeled back that, which I was like, MI9, never even heard of it. But anyway, right. um, I want to know, how did you come up with the inspiration to thread all of this together? Mm -hmm. Because you really do, you have, you know, huge events that are not well known on both sides of the Atlantic. You've got an incredible story seamlessly woven, but what was that thread that you started out with that, yes, I see this through pass? Yeah, absolutely. So it was a photograph that I found years ago when I went down the rabbit hole of 50 of the most shocking historical photos you have never seen. <laughs> you know? and you're like, let me see those. <laughs> what have I never seen? You know, click, go down the rabbit hole. And of course I found the photo of two kids being offered for sale on their own farmhouse porch. Well, in, in real life, it was actually their own apartment stoop. In my story, it was a farmhouse porch and that inspired Sold on a Monday, which was my last book. Yeah. On this, in the same website was another photo and it had to do with the tragedy in Michigan's copper country. So mm -hmm. I put that in a file, tucked it away, thought it's way too sad for an entire novel, uh, but I couldn't let it go. It haunted me. When I went back to my idea folder, I'm sure you guys all have this, um, 
And I put together that one right next to an article that was about how the allies helped world win World War II through monopoly. Mm. And when mm. I put the two together, all of a sudden I thought, oh my gosh, within about 15 minutes, I had two thirds of my story, like a movie in my head. And yeah. I, if, if she was a survivor of this tragedy that had to do with claustrophobia, she would become obsessed with escape, always needing two ways out of every room. And Houdini would be her, 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 um, you know, her, what's the word I'm looking for? Her hero. Her yeah. animal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Animal. So definitely her hero. And um, she would idolize him. And so because of that, she becomes, I thought this is her backstory. She would be a natural to be pulled into MI9. So that's how it all came nice. together. Oh my yeah. goodness. That's smart. That's so smart. Like and the your best main, book ever. Mm-hmm. Your main character, by the way, her name is Fena Voss and um, she's, she is of Dutch extraction and I kind of love this little thing. It, it apparently means fox, right? Yes. So I, I love oh, that. Yeah. 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 I love that. Um, you know, all the symbolism that kind of goes with there with where her character is very clever, but also good at evading, at a hiding, at, at protecting herself, but ultimately good at protecting others too. And another thing, guys, when you read this book, read the author's notes because they are a tome unto themselves, but it's so fascinating. Um, one of the things about this book that I could imagine must have been just so stinking fun for you as an author is learning about all the escape artist stuff and the tricks. So uh, I know you and I know that your research, you like to get your hands on research. So can you share with us uh, one or two of your little tricks that you may have learned along the way? Oh my gosh. So it, it really was, you know, you remember Apollo 13, the movie, and they sit there and they put everything on the table. Do you remember that? And they're like, this is yeah. what they have up there, you know, make it work. And so that's sort of how I felt at times of how do I come up with escapes that would be realistic, that the Nazis would not figure out that they hadn't already seen before. I mean, so, so it was a, some of that um, definitely was sitting here sketching um, boxes and things that, you know, you could use. And, um, and then of course the more fun things, the gadgets. And, and I do have one, I'll show you here really quick. I love too. a good visual okay. aid. Okay. So I'll show you a couple very fast. I know we've limited time. We need like a hundred minute talk. Um, no, we, do. we do. Okay. So here is a silk map from world war II, and they would put these in the monopoly boards among many other things. They'd also sew them into the tunics, for example, of airmen. So if they were downed in occupied zones, then you have a way to escape. Um, and they're very thin, which is why they use them. They could print them in color and they would withstand the weather. Most importantly, if you were in hiding, it doesn't uh, rustle like paper. So uh-huh. it would help give you away. So these are some of the super cool things. And by the way, I'm going on a 15 state tour that starts today. So Bless oh, you. talking to me now and not at the end of it. Um, but I'll be bringing all kinds of this stuff along and I'll show you one other thing. So this is, um, this is not, this is a replica, of course, because the only one that's known is in the Washington DC spy museum. So here's like a typical playing card. You soak it in water and it, be, it comes apart mm-hmm. and it now has all the pieces of a map that you would lay out in order to try to escape. So wow. cool stuff and magic wise. Yeah. My, my, my youngest son actually is very good at card tricks and sleight of hand. So luckily he helped me. So any of those story, any of those tricks you're reading in the book that have to do with cards and stuff, which were amazing to put in that all came from him. Oh, that is so I love cool. that. That's cool. awesome. So cool. So cool. Uh, Christina, I'm going to ask you one more question, but you, you did point out, yeah, you're going on a 15th state. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, oh my go. gosh. Like, yeah. I hope you have like, I don't know, the big horse pill vitamins. So um, <laughs> what's your website so that people people can look up and see if maybe they'll be in your the area where they can come and get a book personally and hear, hear more of your talk? Which, so where, where can we find your that calendar? Would, that would be awesome. Yes, on my website. So my name with a K, Christina McMorris, and it's just mcmorris.com. And yeah, if they go on there on the events page, it's got all the links and I'll be all over the place in September and October. So some of those 15 states, I'm going back to like several times. (laughs) That's wonderful. That's so exciting. So our last question we're going to ask you, and yes, it should have been the 100 minute book talk because this book, The Ways We Hide is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. Run to your bookstore. Don't wait. Don't walk. Get it now. Um, but Christina, as you are heading out on your tour very soon, tell us what is bringing you joy today, my friend. 
Oh, but so it's a bittersweet joy in that my oldest is heading off to college. Um, mm -hmm. or actually, you know, is is um yeah, is is already diving into classes and and all of that down at Chapman University. And he's an animation major. He got into their incredible film school. Um, you know, when we visited, Guillermo del Toro had been there the night before giving a talk. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, how do we say no to this? Squid Game cast had been there the week before that. Um, so I'm like, can I go back to college? So the bittersweet joy is that, yeah, is that he's at school and um, and not at home. And he's just, you know, he's my Labrador. I call him just the unconditional love. He always thinks he's a puppy. He always wants to tackle hug you. And, and but it's amazing. And I'm so proud of him. So that's it. Oh, that's, that's awesome. fabulous. That's Lovely. Awesome. Bittersweet and fabulous. Bittersweet and fabulous. Well. Thank you, Christina, for being with us. Best of luck, friends. Go get The Ways We Hide by Christina McMorris. And the other thing you should do, join us next week for another great interview with a fabulous author here on the 10-Minute Book Talk. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>